Disclaimer, these are just my opinions, and you and know I have to agree. I love learning your opinions in the comments, but please don't, like, hate me after these videos, as I am just putting out what I think. You also don't need to comment, please don't hate me, but I disagree, because I will in fact not hate you for disagreeing with my opinion. Thank you. Hello friends, I've been dreading this day, because I know people will hate and attack me, no matter what side I take. I've had multiple people ask me, do you ship Winter Watcher or Moonbly? And in short, I like neither, but I especially don't like Winter Watcher. Why do people like Winter and Moon Watcher together? Other than there not being any chemistry, there's a few reasons I can't stand the ship. The first thing is, is that Winter straight up verbally abuses Moon. Not in the third arc, but in the second arc, it was really bad. I understand completely that Winter was raised to hate Nightwings no matter what, and that he thought Nightwings killed Hailstorm, his brother, and he was battling family expectations and his feelings for Moon. I know with all that, I can see how confusing it might be for Winter to have a crush on Moon. But I don't really see that as a way to excuse what he did to Moon. Think of it this way. You wouldn't excuse a murder because the murderer was abused when he was little. Though the abuse contributed to the problem, it shouldn't be used as an excuse. If Winter couldn't act like a rational dragon in school where he knew there would be a chance there would be Nightwings around him, he doesn't get any of my sympathy for why he was being rude to Moon. Plus, Moonwatcher never did anything to him prior to his threats. I remember he made Moon cry on one occasion. But don't take this as a personal attack on Winter. Moon also didn't help with the situation. I read a post that brought up a part in one of the books that where Moon defended Darkstalker in front of Winter. Mind you, this was after Winter discovered that Darkstalker enchanted him and used him as a puppet. And then Moon refused to apologize. And yes, I do believe that Winter changed in the end, but regardless, he did his damage. And I'd like to clear up something. I do think Winter was a massive jerk, but I love his character and backstory. He was an interesting character to read in his point of view, but I can't help but dislike him for saying things like, What, that we're friends? Winter spat, shoving her talons away. We can't be friends. We can't be anything. We can never, never be what I dream of us being. You're my sworn enemy, Nightwing. I never asked for you to follow me around. Winter also is a super unreliable as a friend in whole. And yes, you can yell at me. I get he has trust issues, yada yada. He left his friends in possibility, one of his friends being severely injured. He then proceeded to almost get himself killed in the Diamond Trial, helped a random Nightwing that turned out to be Darkstalker's mother, which he seemed to have no problems with, yet still mad at Moon. And then he attacked Beryl for no reason, almost died again, forcing Turtle to reveal his powers to everyone. Moon Watcher deserves someone better than Winter. I'd also like to mention something that people seem to forget about. When I was rereading the Darkness of Dragon book, in the epilogue, the rest of the group didn't tell Winter how they got rid of Darkstalker. I'm serious, if Moon and the rest of the group couldn't even trust Winter with that information, even after all their shenanigans and adventures they had together, Moon and the rest of the group couldn't trust him with that info, then there clearly wouldn't be enough trust for a relationship. That being said, I don't really ship Kibli and Moon either. And that's for a few different reasons, not so much because of Kibli or Moon's characters, but because of some of the things in the actual writing that makes Moonly sort of a lackluster ship. Let me know if you want a video of that. I'd also like to mention that you'll most likely get a weird upload schedules with these ship analysis videos, and that's because I wait for the previous ship video to hit a thousand views. This is just so I know people are still enjoying the videos, but as always, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Remember to put suggestions in the comments. Bye bye Editor Cryo here, just as a side note. I also feel like, being that there was hardly any romantic feels with these two characters, it would have been hard for me to ship them anyways. Bye!